Good morning, kids. Welcome to another week of The Kingdom for Kids. I'm Pastor Joel, and I am so glad you guys have joined me for this lesson. But first, I want to remind you that today is the last day to sign up for our summer VBS. Head over to crosschurch.life slash kingdom to download a form and send it in, or you can fill one out in the check-in area. I am so excited to be with you guys and learn about the Beatitudes. But today, we are talking about prayer and learning that God answers our prayers. In the book of Matthew, Jesus gives us a great promise. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 to 8, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Jesus tells us that if we seek, it will be given to us. Does that mean that we can ask for whatever we want and it will be given to us? Maybe like a new toy or a big bag of candy? No, it isn't a free shopping trip at our favorite toy store. This promise is for when we ask for things that are in God's plan for us. There are lots of things that we could ask for that are not good things, but God hears our prayers and gives us what is best for us just like a father gives what is best to his children. Jesus talks about this in the next verses of Matthew chapter 7. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Jesus is saying that just like a father gives his children what is good for them, God does the same for us, but in an even better way. He gives these things to those who ask him. That's why he tells us to ask, seek, and knock. God knows everything, and so he knows what is best for us, way better than what we think we need. In fact, we sometimes think that we can save ourselves from our sin and forget that we need the best gift ever to save us. That is Jesus. Even when we didn't know what we needed, God sent Jesus to die on the cross for us so that we can be forgiven for our sins. God knows what is best for us. We need to be asking for the things of God's will. That means things that are in God's plan. Pastor Allen is currently preaching about wisdom and how important it is. Wisdom is the strength and knowledge that comes from God to go through life. It is the ability to discern what is good and what is bad according to God's standard. It isn't from ourselves. Wisdom comes from God. So we ask God for wisdom. In fact, God wants us to ask for wisdom. In the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. We ask God for wisdom by praying for wisdom, and we know that God hears our prayers. That's what he promises. So do you guys think that we should just ask God for wisdom once and wait around until he gives it to us? Or do you think that while we ask, we should also seek? That's right, we should seek too. While we ask God to give us wisdom, we need to seek God's wisdom. We do this by reading our Bibles and learning from parents and Sunday school teachers. When we want the things that God wants for us, we want to seek after them and not just wait around doing nothing. Wisdom is so important for us to ask God for. And we know that God hears our prayers. Let's go talk to Jimmy and Mr. Alfred. Mr. Alfred, Mr. Alfred, I have terrible news. Mr. Alfred? Hello? Where are you? Is anybody home? Oh, Jimmy, there you are. Did I hear you say that you have terrible news? Yeah, I do, but I couldn't find you. Oh, I was just in the back moving some cookies around. What is your bad news? I asked my parents for a hundred cookies for my birthday. And guess what I got? Hmm, I don't know. One cookie. One cookie, Mr. Alfred. Only one cookie. Hmm, didn't they hear me? I said one cookie. Hundred, but they gave me one. They missed the hundred. Oh, Jimmy, I'm sure they heard you say 100, but they knew that 100 cookies wouldn't be healthy for you. But it was my birthday. Aren't they supposed to give me what I ask for? Well, 
Not necessarily. Your parents know what is best for you. But I wanted a hundred cookies. Is this sort of like what Pastor Joel was talking about with how God gives us what is best for us? Yeah, it is. God wants us to ask for things that are of God's will. And a hundred cookies isn't what is best for you. Just like your parents knew that God knows what is best for you. Except God knows even more than your parents because God is all knowing. That is so confusing. But I am so glad that God knows what is best. Pastor Joel said we should ask God for wisdom. That's something I think I want to do. That's great. Wisdom is so important for us to ask God for, and God will answer that prayer. That's cool. But I don't really understand what it is. It can be confusing. Wisdom is better than money or anything we can buy with money. What about cookies? Better than cookies, too. Wisdom is strength from God to discern how we should go through our lives. It's knowledge and insight from God. Whoa, that's so cool. He must really love us. He sure does. But about those hundred cookies, I do still have some birthday money. Okay, Jimmy, you can have some. Maybe one more box. Yes! Cookies, cookies, cookies. Thanks, Jimmy and Mr. Alfred. I am so glad you could help us understand what it means that God hears our prayers. God loves us so much. He promises that if we ask, seek, and knock for the things that God knows that are good for us, then we will be given those things. God hears our prayers. He knows what is best for us better than we ever can. Even our parents ever can. That's a comforting thing even when we don't get the 100 cookies that we want. God gives us such great gifts, and the greatest of these is Jesus. God sent Jesus to die on the cross to forgive us of our sins so that we can have life forever with him in heaven. That is a great gift, and that is the gift that he gives us when we ask him to forgive us of our sins. I hope you have a great week. Bye.